Hello, Sandra. Hola, René, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Hello, good evening, yeah. everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Good evening, Hello. Miss. Good evening. Hi. Si me escuchan o no me pueden escuchar. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yo creo que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, yo sí la no escuchamos, Miss. Escucho? Oh, yo era la que no les escuchaba. I'm sorry about that. Yo tenía bajado todo el volumen de esta cosa. Ok, sorry about it. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. You? I'm doing good. Excellent. So, yeah. today we're going to continue with the classes that we have. Okay. 
And we're gonna start with the unit number three. So yesterday, basically we started with unit number three, but today we're gonna go like deep into unit number three. So uh, let me, wait a minute. And we're gonna talk about um, superlatives because we learned a little bit about comparatives. Do you remember the topic comparatives? That more than or better than. Do you remember that? Yes? Yes. So, so? Okay, so we're gonna be looking. I need to fix my camera, give me a second. You know, since Saturday, I don't have internet connection in my house. So I have to move to another city, to another house to teach you the classes. So that's why I'm having a little bit of problems. But, let me see. There we go. So basically at 10, 15, when I finish the class, I have to drive home because I'm not home. I'm in another house using the internet. I'm using another computer. I'm in another place. So if you see that I have problems with internet and stuff like that, it's because I'm not in the place where no, I live. Okay? That's the situation now. Well, now, so I need your your understanding. That's all I'm asking, okay? Now, we're gonna go with the attendance because it's time of the attendance already. I think, let's see. Porque me parece que terminamos el martes 4. No, no terminamos el martes 4, terminamos el lunes. ¿Por qué nos encaramaron un día, mis? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no recibimos clases? Del viernes. No, 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 pero con, aún con eso tendríamos que terminar el lunes 3, no martes 4. Mm. So that's weird. O ya me están programando por si falla otra vez. <ríe> Quizás know. el día del padre vamos a descansar. El día del padre. Pero, perdón, fue... el, el Ay, sí. día del maestro. Aquí está programado. No, mis, lo que pasa es que cuando se estornuda, ah, no, ya se ve otra vez. ¿Ah? Cuando estornuda, quizás dicen, ya se va a enfermar, mejor alarguemos un día. No, y fíjense que no tiene alergias. Esta vez fue una cosa aquí, miren, no sé si se me nota. Es una... Sí, ningún... Me aparecieron un montón de quemadas por la cara y esta es la más grande que tuve. Y no sé por qué. I don't know what happened that day. Fue bien raro. It was really weird. I don't know what happened. Sí. Right? So, y me dieron medicamentos fuertes, so that's why I couldn't be in the class. Hay un animalito que hace eso, Miss. Sí. Esas quemadas, sí. ¿Por toda la cara? Mm, fíjese que como que el día lo, lo orina aquí a uno sí, por el cuello por así, o por algún lado de la cara y se le hacen ampollas por todo el montón, se le riega. Oh, really? So maybe that's raro. Qué raro. Uh -huh. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah, but I have just one now. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm good now. I'm good. Okay. So I think we have, yeah, we have a lot of students right now. We're going to start with the attendance. Okay. Remember to turn on your microphone when you hear your name and say present or oh, I'm here. Let's start. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Is no Blanca here? Okay. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Eric Josu Reyes Molina. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Present, Miss. Is you are oyente today, Henry? Uh, just uh, 10 minutes. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, Jacobo de Jesus Gomez. Present, Miss. Janice Carolina Vasquez de Medrano. 
or Jenny says oyente, but I don't see her. Do you see her? Yeah, I don't see her. Um, Jenny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan Jose Oliva Enriquez. Present, Miss. De Alfredo Present. Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Ya vi el chat. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Ramiro. Excuse me, present, Miss. Ok. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Saitur Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Jacqueline Lisset García Miranda. Okay. So, we're missing a few students today. Hopefully, they will connect to the class later. Okay. Yesterday, I was telling you that this module, Intermediate 1, is more about conversational activities, okay? Because in this part of the English level, you have to be able to communicate your ideas and to understand the ideas others are communicating. Maybe you don't have like a full vocabulary that you can use to communicate the ideas, but you have a basic vocabulary you can use to communicate, right? And I believe that when I am speaking, you are understanding. Am I right? You are right. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay, th that's the thing. That maybe communicating ideas is your weakness. Weakness means debilidad. Maybe communicating is your weakness, but you have a really strong listening skill now because you have listened to me speaking in English. Now, what do you have to do? Start speaking and producing English. In English, we have four macro skills, okay? Yes? Do you know how, what are the names of those four macro skills? I don't know, miss. Okay, perfect. No. So the four macro skills that we have to develop in any language, actually is any language you want to speak, we have to develop four macro skills. Listening, speaking, writing, reading. Yeah? Those are the four things you need to know to do to speak another language. So two of these macro skills are produced by you and two of these macro skills go into you. Like for example, when you listen, you're not producing, right? You're just absorbing. When you read, you're not producing. You're just absorbing. Do you follow me? Yeah, get in there. Yeah, okay. When you speak and when you write, it's the time when you produce English, yeah? So now you have been reading and you have been listening. So you have been exposed to the language. Now, what do you need to do? Produce the language, got it? So we are in that process now, in the process where you are able to speak and write, okay? Now, so if you see, we're doing a lot of activities. We go to the breaker rooms, we do this activity, we do that activity, we do this presentation, we do that presentation. It's because I need you to think. 
to think in English. I, I'm so, uh, 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 to think in English and to speak and to write, to be able to write and to be able to speak. Now, when I send you to the breakout rooms and you do not participate, that's an issue because the time you have to do the activity, you don't use it to do the activity, you know? Because I can be speaking here all night long and I can be telling you many things if you want me to tell you stories, I can read you stories or whatever. But this time it's your time to speak, your time to produce. So I will encourage you and I will advise you to use that time wisely. Do you know what is wisely? Sabiamente. Correct, Eric. So I will advise you to use that time wisely. If you can speak, speak. If you can make mistakes, make mistakes. It doesn't matter. The problem is when you are quiet. That is a problem for us, okay? So now, let's go. That was just a piece of advice that I wanted to share with you. Now, we're going to go with a conversation we have here on page, I believe it's page 27. And in this conversation, the letters in bold or the words in bold, bold that you're gonna see, they are superlatives. Like a few weeks ago, we were talking about comparatives. Now, comparatives is the la like the re reinforcement, the first step or whatever you wanna call it. But now we're gonna talk about superlatives. These are not used to make comparisons. These are used to talk about the most, lo más, okay, in something. So we're gonna get there as the comparatives, they have irregulars, they have rules, they have more, like more, and in this case you have most, then they have rules how to change the, the, the adjective, you're gonna see. But now we have a conversation first, before we get to the topic, I would like you to practice this conversation. As you know, I'm gonna read this conversation the first time for pronunciation. You listen to me. If you have questions, you can ask me at the end of my first reading. And then I'm gonna read it for intonation. Remember, this is very important for you intermediate students. With intonation, we are able to communicate in an effective way because if you do it just like, Laura, how do you keep the schedule? That is not correct, okay? So intonation is very important for you intermediate level students. Okay, let's go. Laura, actually, Laura in English is like Laura, okay? Laura, how do you, how do you, you see? Como uno todo eso? How do you, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Do you have questions about pronunciation or meaning? What is the meaning of bet? Best. This one? No. Uh, Gilbert, I bet it saves. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, bet literally means apostar. So I bet it saves, apuesto que te ahorra mucho tiempo. Thank you, miss. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Nope. Okay. Miss. Okay, Carlos. And finally, it's organized and on time. 
organized and on time. And okay, okay. So I say and first and then on time like together. Organized and on time. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is your time to make questions. Then I, I send you the audios. I always send you the audios. But sometimes I feel like you don't listen to my audios. Do you listen to my audios? Do you listen to them? Do you hear them? Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you think I should keep doing that or I shouldn't? What is your advice? Should I keep sending the voice notes or not? Yes, Miss, you should. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes Miss, please. Okay, thank you. So, I'm gonna read it one more time. This time I'm gonna read it with intonation and then I'm gonna send you the audio. Again, I apologized because I'm in another house with another environment and maybe you should, you will, hear some background noise, so I apologize for that when you hear the audio. <clears throat> Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Sí, la persona es, ah, siempre se están quejando. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Voy a mandarles el audio, I'm sorry. Sorry. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is. Sorry, I don't know. Laura, how do you keep your schedule? Your schedule is the schedule, sorry. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. And I'm sorry about the fun because you can listen to the fun in these audios, okay? So now we're gonna go, we're gonna practice. Please be careful with intonation. In this level, I don't want you to be reading a conversation. I want you to be Practicing intonation. Remember, that is very, very, very important. Got it? Good? Okay. Let's go. Let's see. I'm going to send. Oh, I have some listeners today. So, just, I, I believe it was Rafael Hernandez. Jenny's, but oh, Jenny's is not here yet. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Remember again, if your group is on silence, absolute silence, you call me para deshacer ese grupo, okay? There you go, you have the invites now.
Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Lisette. Welcome to the class. Thank you. You're just connecting? Yes. yes. Okay. I, my internet is a problem. Oh, yeah. Because of the, the storms, maybe? Okay. Okay, so your classmates are working on a conversational practice, okay? They are doing a conversation right now. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room, okay? Okay, perfect. Got it. There you go. In the WhatsApp. It's conversation. Yes, yes. In the WhatsApp, they send it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Organize. Organize. 
Organized. 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 Uh -huh. Organized. Complaining. 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 I bet in sales. I bet in sales. I bet it's in sales. safe. It's safe. Safe. F safe. al final, como que fuera con F al final, it's safe. 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 I bet it's safe. Miss, y what is I bet is it's safe? I bet is apuesto. So I bet it's safe, apuesto que. Ok. Apuesto que ahorra mucho tiempo. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I bet it's safe. I bet it's safe. Okay. How do you keep? Yes, it is the best way to keep yourself organized and on time. Switch. Switch. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an on online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That's that's light, the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way. Yes, it is the yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Thank you. I uh, la I am Laura now. Okay. Uh Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules for their phones. That's like the most efficient. What the fact is? Eric. Eric, you practice, Eric? Okay, I am practicing. Yes, I want to practice. Okay, I am Laura. Yes, Sorry. yes. welcome. My welcome <laughs> hey, good morning, <laughs> Okay, okay, I am practicing. I am Laura. What is okay. this? Beautiful. Okay. Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an, on, an online service so that the staff can see their schedule for their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best Right. to keep your state organized on time. Switch. Okay, switch. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones.
Javier, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I'm going driving my motorcycle. You're driving right now or you were driving? Uh, now I am in my house. Okay. Okay, excellent, Javier. So now I'm going to send you to a break room. They are practicing a conversation. They are about to finish, but you can practice for a little bit, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Johnny, what happened? Me dice, es que estoy de, de oyente, pero me cambié de teléfono porque también tengo problemas con el internet. No tengo internet en mi casa, estoy con el teléfono. ¿Va a ser de oyente toda la clase? Sí, mis. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome.
Okay, hi, welcome back. Now we're gonna do this activity. I'm gonna ask some participants to do the conversation and then I'm gonna explain the topic superlatives. I'm sorry about my camera. Okay, let's go. Mm, wanna choose, choose, choose. Can you please help me, Henry and Veronica Burgos? Okay. Okay, of course. Uh, I'm Gilbert. Yes, please. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Excellent, good job, that was good. Excellent, perfect, good job. Thanks. Thank you, Henry, and thank you, Veronica. There was just only one mispronunciation is efficient, efficient, okay? Efficient, okay. Okay, miss. There we go. Now, um, Blanca, yes, Blanca, please help me in Oscar Rene. Oscar Rene, you start, then Blanca, okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it takes a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Excellent, that was good. Excellent, good job. Thank you, thank you, Blanca and Oscar. Most, just this mistake, most. It's not most, it's the most, most, okay? Uh, and just one more couple. We're gonna go with Sandra and Jonathan. Jonathan, you start. Okay, Miss. Uh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the state staff can see their schedule for the. That's online. That's online. The most efficient way. I bet it save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your styles organized and the time. Okay, good job. Excellent. That was good. Excellent. Good, good, good. Thank you. So just Thank you. three mispronunciations sounds like, okay? Together, all together. That sounds like, that sounds like. This one is staff, right? Staff and on time, on time. That's it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm, my bad. Allergies. Sorry. Okay. Let's continue. Now, I'm going to explain to you how to use superlatives. A couple of weeks ago, we were studying how to use comparatives. And if you remember, for comparatives, we use more, than, like that. But now we're going to talk about superlatives. The rules on how to form superlatives are the same rules to form um, comparatives, okay? So comparatives and superlatives, they have the same spelling rules. Spelling rules is regla de escritura. They have the same spelling rules. But it changes because instead of ER or more, we use EST and most. Okay? You're going to see that. Rafael, nice to see you. That It is always nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Let me share my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Just to make like a review, in the last classes, we have more or 
ER, sorry, for ER to make comparatives. And then we add than. For example, my house is uh, more beautiful than my work. Mi trabajo, right? My house is more beautiful than my work. Now, these keys, we have verb to be, to make the comparison, more, because the adjective is a long adjective, and then, that's the most important part there. Now, if I want to make it with R, for example, my car is bigger than my bike. My car is bigger than my bike. Verb to be again is a key. ER and then. And I have two things to make the comparison with. But now, this is comparatives, okay? This is just like a review of something that we already did. This is comparative, okay? That's what it is now. Now I'm going to explain superlative, okay? Superlative, that's what we're looking for. Uh, no, we're going to leave it like that. Super house more beautiful than my world. My car is bigger than my bike. Hmm? Bigger. All right, Veronica. Now we're going to go with superlatives, okay? Super, oh my God. The superlatives, they are very similar to what we're doing. But listen, superlatives. Okay. With the superlatives, we have almost the same, but with a difference. Pay attention because this is very important. In this case, we use most or we use at the end of the... Uh, the, the adjective EST, okay? And in this case, we don't use than. At the beginning, we use the word da. That is the difference. Look, here we use than, here we don't use it. But at the beginning, we use da, okay? Now, again, pay attention because this is very important. In superlative, I am talking about the highest that it can be. With los superlativos, yo estoy hablando de lo máximo que puede haber, ¿ok? The highest, the maximum that can be. So, I am not making a comparison. No estoy haciendo una comparación. ¿Se entiende eso? Do we get it? I'm not making a comparison. I'm talking about the most. So, I'm not going to say that my house is more beautiful than my work. I'm going to say that my house es la más bonita. No más bonita que es la más bonita. You got it? Now, for that, I'm going to say my house, then I'm going to use always the verb to be, is, and now we add the superlative, is the most beautiful. Is the most beautiful. Because es la más bonita. That's what I'm talking, okay? My house is the most beautiful. Now, if you pay attention with the superlatives, I just have one. In this one, I have two, right? To make the comparison. In this one, I just have one because I'm talking that the highest that it can be is my house. I'm using the verb to be, yes. I'm using the, that it's the important. Here I use then, but here I use the. Most, because the adjective is long, it has more than one syllable, okay? Now, let's make the other example. Let's do the other one. My car is bigger than my bike. But this, in this case, I'm not talking that my car is bigger than something. I'm not making a comparison again. I'm talking that my house is the biggest one. So I'm going to say, my car is the biggest. You see? And in this case, as in this case, the same, the rule says, if I have a consonant, vowel consonant, I double the last consonant and add ER. But in this case, if I have a 
consonant, vowel consonant, I double the last consonant, and add EST. You following me? Yes, yes, I got it. Okay. Yes, Okay, perfect. Now, with this in mind, okay, I'm going to explain the rules on how to make superlatives. If you want to take a screenshot of this and send it to the WhatsApp group, that will be perfect because I'm going to erase this. To the one, to the two, to the one, two, three, bye. Okay. Now, rules to make, thank you, rules to form the superlative. Okay. The superlative, I don't know why I got double P, it's only one P. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Rule number what? If the na the, the adjective I mean has more than two syllables, then you use the most before the adjective. Okay. Example of this, the most expensive phone, the most interesting movie, okay? That's the first rule. The adjective has more than one syllable, the two syllables, expensive, interesting. So I add most, the most, the most expensive phone, the most interesting mode. That is the rule number one, okay? Now let's go with rule number two. Adjectives with one syllable only add EST at the end of the adjective. Okay, example. The past test card. Do you know what is past? Uh, rápido. Yeah. 
So what is the fastest? El más rápido. Más El más rápido. Más veloz. So the youngest student. Rápido y furioso. So what is young? Joven. Joven. So what is the youngest? Joven. Más joven. El más joven. El más joven. Correct, correct. El estudiante más joven. Who could it be? ¿Quién podría ser? <laughs> okay. Now we have it. Have it here. We have number two. Let's go with number three. It is very, very similar to the ones with the comparatives. Same thing. Let's go with number three. Number three says... One syllable adjective. Oh, sorry. Ending in E. Only add ST. Okay. So, for example, nice. Oh, example, sorry. Example. The nicest person. What is nice? Like uh, genial. Okay, so the nicest person? La persona más genial. Genial o, genial o agradable. Exactly. The nicest person. Now, strange, strange, listen, esta palabra es un parecer que tiene más de una sílaba, por cómo se ve, ¿verdad? Estrange, pero la pronunciación de esta palabra es strange. ¿Cuántas sílabas se escuchan? Just one, two, yes. Just two. One. strange, strange, strange. ¿Dónde escucha la otra? Strange. Recuerden ah, que aquí no, hay una e. aquí no hay una E. No es E. Strange. Ok. It's only strange. strange. The strangest. Strangest. The strangest. I don't know. Series. Las series más raras. Right. The strangest series. Ok. Now. That's the next rule. Then the, the strangest next. Series. Ok. We're going to go with rule number four. The rule number four says. If the adjective ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, double. Parece que termina para las manos. Double the last. Consonant and R E S T. Example The biggest house in town. Okay, let's go with rule number five. Rule number five it says. Adjectives ending in Y consonant plus Y delete. Or remove, vamos a hacer remove, remove the Y and add I E S T. For example, the happy, the happiest song. What is happy? 
Feliz. Alegre, feliz. What is the happiest song? El cantante más feliz. No. Canción. La canción. La canción más feliz, perdón. Tengo un problema, tengo un problema. The happy song. No se escucha. No. Just give me a second, please. Remember, I'm not in my house and this is... Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes, perfect. Yes, miss. Okay. The happy song is the canción más feliz, right? So now let's go with the next one. And this is an exception. Irregular mm -hmm. adjectives. Bad words. Worst, right? Good, better, best. Okay. Hola chicos, bienvenidos a un nuevo video del canal de PSG Tutoriales. En esta ocasión vamos a ver cómo nosotros podemos recuperar conversaciones borradas. Vamos a ver cómo recuperar conversaciones que borrados. ¿Qué estará pasando? Are you listening to me? Huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Bien, aquí están las reglas. Esas son todas las reglas, okay? Those are all the rules. Now we're going to put them into practice. Miren, yo dediqué mi tiempecito a explicarles con detalle, con ejemplos, okay? One by one, para que ustedes puedan entender esto, is the easiest way, you see? Ahí estoy utilizando un easy, easiest. No, amor, easy. The easiest way. Forma más fácil, right? The easiest way. So yeah, if, you, if you could take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group, that will be perfect, okay? To the one... To the two, to the one, two, three. Question so far. Do you have any questions? Okay, okay. I went I went I went step by step. You're welcome. I went step by step. Now, let's try to work with an easy exercise, okay? Let's try to do this very easy exercise. Look at it. This is the exercise. Here we have an adjective that is tall, right? Comparative, taller. Superlative, the tallest. Don't remember, don't forget that it's very important for superlatives. Interesting. Jose Alfredo, can you tell me how to say interesting in comparative form? Hi, teacher. Okay, Javier, tell me. More interesting that. More interesting. Yeah, we can add, add that, right? But in this case, it is not adding it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's the same interest. Yeah. So Falcuna what will de. be the no. interesting? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In... No, 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 no. In the... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. My dyslexia. <laughs> okay, more interesting. So what will be the superlative in this case? Most the most interesting. The most. The most. The most interest interesting okay now okay. B, we have one that is particular we have a rule for this big consonant vowel consonant so what are we going to do 
Bigger. 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 Now in this case. The biggest. The number the or biggest. Biggest. Yes. That, that's what it comes. The name comes from there. The even the number. Eso me suena el que desapareció hace rato. No, no otra ya está. Hay dos. Hay dos. Yeah. You see? And that's, that's what we're going to do. Do you understand the activity we're doing? This is an easy form. Then we're going to work more. Then we're going to work more. What? This is the easiest form. Let me send it to the chat. Mm. Do you understand the activity we're doing? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Let me see. I have to be wise about the groups. Okay, let's go. There you have the invites. Eric, Lisette, Rafael.
Okay, I think we we pretty much understood the topic. I don't think it's difficult. Do you think it's difficult? No, Miss. I no, think miss. it's easy. It's an it's a very easy topic. Now, based on that, we're gonna continue and we're gonna do another activity. This activity is going to be a little bit more complete, not difficult, complete. <clears throat> In this case, we're gonna be using the comparatives and the superlatives. We have three readings about different three different animals. Okay, the three different animals are elephants, crocodile, lion, and a lion. Now, lifespan is how much they can live to, right? So elephants can live from sixty to seventy years. Crocodiles look eighty to a hundred years. Lions, 25 to 30 years. Now, age, age, age. So this one's the age of them. The weight, how much they weight. Length, like the space, like length, like for example, altura, the height, or how long they, it's the measure of them. Population, how many of these there are. Characteristics. Okay, you see, they have characteristics. These are adjectives like you, me. Now, based on the reading that we have here, we're going to complete here the comparatives and the superlative forms. Okay. Now, for example, lion. Lions have a short lifespan than, ele than elephants. Okay. A uh, short, have a short there, right? Because it's only one syllable. Have a shorter lifespan than elephants. Let's see if that is correct. Yeah, it is correct. You see, it is not super difficult. So let's do it again. Shorter elephants live. Then lions, elephants, lions, long. What do you think is the comparative in this case? Longer. Longer. Longer than lions. Now let's go to the superlative form. The elephant is bigger. big of the three. Is the? Bigger. Bigger. The biggest. Superlative. Ah, perdón, biggest. Is biggest. the biggest of the three. The lion is the? Light, light test. Light, light test. Test. Okay. And when you finish, you're only going to click here on Terminado, comprobar mis respuestas. Oh, oh, ah, se me olvidó la última. Ah, yeah, I forgot that. Que no les pase lo mismo. Okay. Now, I want you to do this, but I also want you to practice reading. So when you finish doing the activity, you can start reading this information, this information, this information, and you can start practicing reading the sentences. Do you understand the activity we're going to do right now? Of course. Okay. Yes, miss. Perfect. Yes, miss. Okay, let me send the link because I haven't. There you go. Okay, got it? Let me recreate the break rooms. Wait a moment. Okay, there we go. You can go to the break rooms.
to I've been to roast roast I've been to roast I've been to roast cest Miss we have a, a deal uh, uh, is uh, the letter K Mm -hmm. The uh, adventurous, the is adventurous, the most adventurous. Letter K. Letter K. The lion is the most adventurous. Miren, jóvenes, jóvenes, jovencitos. Sí. Ustedes están poniendo dos veces el superlativo. Most, no lleva ni most. al final. Solo es sin con la e The most adventurous. <laughs> The most. Ok. Agresivo. Yes, 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 sorry, sorry. Es que la, el AS, el AST al final, <laughs> ya es decirlo, el más más. ¿verdad? El más mejor. <laughs> Aunque dijeran eso, cabal. Yes. Adventurous. Y si la the the most aggressive. Ay, lo habían hecho en varios. Y los espejos. Ok, ok. Ya es el sueño, mis. Vamos, ya, vamos, ya casi, ya casi. Imagínense uh -huh. que yo después de aquí tengo que manejar sure. hasta mi casa media hora. Uh -huh. yeah. Yo no tengo internet, no he tenido que venir a otro lado, así que. Oh, Uh, the best. Yes. The shortest. The most to The best. Fourth. The most. No. No, porque ya le agregamos el, el S al, al. Ya al no lleva. Ejemplo. En yeah. el D si no lleva amor, sino que es most. The most. The most. The most. The most. The most. The most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería este? Come on. I get. Come. Come on. The object. most common. Common. The most common. How do you do it? Common, right? Is two syllables. It's two syllables. Two syllables. Okay. Come on. Okay. So in that case, what do we need to do? EST. EST. For me. Okay. The most common. What letter is? What is the letter? What is the letter? P. P, yeah, it's the most fun. Oh. Common. common, two syllables. Remember, just one. Common, the most common, yes, common, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what is the cover? The most common. Why? Because mm -hmm. that is the correct form to form it, it's common. If you want to think about it like as in a regular adjective, you can think about it as an irregular proud, adjective. Proud. Yeah, proud. Yes, proud. I, I... Oh, short. But strong. Good. It's most common. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. So I think we are understanding this topic and it's pretty clear. Now we're going to do two questions. We're going to answer. <laughs> we're going to answer two questions. Okay. This is the very last activity we're going to do today. The two questions we have is are these ones. Can you help me reading the first question, please, Carlos? And the company uh, evaluate uh, all no, areas. I mean, ask, ask, read the I, question. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, read the question. <laughs> okay. How does your company organize schedule? Thank you very much. How does your company organize the schedules, right? And Maria Julia, can you help me read in the second one, please? If you don't know the pronunciation, I can help you with some words. In your opinion, what is most efficient way to avoid over overfine and underfine? On understand understand. Okay, read with me. Efficient. Efficient, efficient overstaffing overstaffing understaffing understaffing thank you maria julia do you know um this is a question to everyone do you know what is the meaning of overstaffing no miss okay a staff do you know the meaning of the word staff yes yes miss staff what is is um, personal the, all the, the personal, personal the personal the work in a specific workplace personal yes okay. do you know what is the meaning of overstaffing so overstaffing means that you have in your business more personal than you need so they don't have many activities to do because they are more people than you need and understaffing is when you have a lot of activities to do, but you don't have the enough people to do them, right? So when you do a schedule or when you organize a schedule, you have to keep in mind to avoid overstaffing or understaffing because you want just the right amount of people to do the right amount of activities, right? Yeah. So the question Bye. is, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? What does a company need to do to avoid these problems, okay? And just to have the right amount of people in the different schedules they have. So let's go with the first question. And I'm going to ask the first question to some participants before we go, because it's almost time. I know, I know. We all want to go to Mimir. <laughs> I want to go to Mimir. <laughs> okay, so let's go with the first question. How does your company organize schedules? Okay, and I'm going to ask this question to Sandra, because Sandra works organizing schedules. <clears throat> Sandra, are you there? Yes, 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 I am. Um, my schedule is um, I am in um PM. No, 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 no. How do you organize? ¿Cómo organiza usted los horarios de sus trabajadores? Para que no choquen, para que trabajen, para que no tengan mucho que hacer, ni tampoco poco que hacer. How do you organize the schedules? For example, is um, no sé cómo explicárselo, pero sí lo tengo organizado, o sea, de lunes a domingo, días libres le doy a así uno, sí, o sea, todos los días libres a diferentes, ¿verdad? No, no le doy a dos personas un día libre, un mismo día libre para que puedan trabajar todos. Y el, hora, el horario es a IMIP. Ok, ok. Mis. Algo que deberíamos tomar en cuenta, según lo que Sandra nos dice, es to avoid giving the same days off to the staff, right? No darle los yes. mismos días libres. Same day off to the staff. And the other advice is to organize two schedules because she has a hotel, right? So AM and 
p.m. p.m. Thank you for your participation. Oscar, yes. it's a balance. Yes, we need to keep a balance. balance. Okay, let's go with the last attendance because I know we all want to go Mimira. Ana Veronica Hernández Rodríguez. Let's go. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clevia Estela Flores Hernández. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Se conectó. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Present, Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Jenny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgara. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present is. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present is. José Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present is. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Pres. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present Miss. Present. 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 Present Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present Miss. Jacqueline Lisette García Miranda. Present Miss. In tomorrow's class, we're going to like do like a small review or like short and brief review about this topic of superlatives, okay? Yeah. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. Have Take a care. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye